Check out my plans for a transforming A-frame cabin designed by myself, drawings by David and Jeannie Styles. It's a cabin that can be built for $1,200, very easy to do. Shout out to my friends at the Jamaica Cottage Shop in Southern Vermont. 15 plus years in the business, they have a ton of great cabins. And check out my band Def Dealer, new album on iTunes. Hi, I'm Elaine Walker. This is my tiny house. I had it built back in 2009, and I lived in it for a couple of years in California. And then my parents needed some help, so I moved to Florida. And I'm Emily, and now I live in the tiny house. So this is the tiny porch. It's about two feet deep and about eight feet wide, the width of the house. Um, it's really nice because it keeps the rain off when you come home and you need to butts with your keys to get them in the door. Um, I use it for storing my dog Daisy's food out here in a watertight container. And then I also have a really great table up here that I can use for a hot plate or a toaster oven to cook outside because I don't like to heat up my house when it's already pretty hot. So that's the porch. So when you come into the tiny house, on the right hand side is the kitchen. Close the door. And the kitchen has a little refrigerator down here. I keep my food and a little freezer on top for ice cubes have a microwave here that I don't use a whole lot, a little bit. I have um, dry goods, sort of pantry, um, cookbooks here, um, and all the utensils I need. I have extra storage in here for food and things like that. And then I have this really great big sink, which I love. I would never have thought to put such a big sink in such a tiny house, but I actually use it for dishes and laundry and filling up my watering cans, and it's turned out to be really useful. And then underneath here, I have cleaning supplies and some wine, and I have um, my dog treats for my dog. Sometimes I have dog food under there, and then I have my hot plate, which um, just plugs in, and then I can cook on my countertop. So on the other side of the kitchen, I have more storage, which I mostly use for tools and seeds and cleaning supplies and things like that. I really don't actually need a whole lot of kitchen storage. Here I have a fire extinguisher and light bulbs, extension cords, just it's a good place for utilities and stuff like that. Uh, this door on the right leads to a bedroom, but it's it's about the size of a twin size bed. So you could use it as a bedroom, but I've chosen to use it as a walk-in closet um, with some really cool storage solutions. This is my lamp that one of my friends gave me, and I actually use it to put all my earrings on there and keep them organized because I have a lot of them. When you walk into the closet, on the right hand side are these hooks that are just used for jewelry and belts and bags and that sort of thing. And then on the right hand side I have my tiny ironing board. My tiny iron right here is a travel size iron. And I have my mother's old sewing machine, which I can use right here. I just pull up a stool. Um, and I just have storage for other things like books and music, that sort of thing. And then I have a lot of hanging room for clothes. And I hang most of my clothes on these perfect hangers. Because I can hang all these clothes up and then just tuck it away. And it like quadruples my storage space. And on this side I have these little bins. that are good for like socks and underwear and stuff like that. And I actually have room for, believe it or not, 20, oops, 20 pairs of shoes. Right here. There's all these racks for shoes. So that's the closet, and then under here in the main room is where the water heater is stored. In here. And then on the left side is the bathroom. And it's got a tiny little sink and a tiny little toilet. It's hooked up to um, water at the RV park here. So I'm flushing toilet, running water. And they have a shower here, which has um, adjustable pressure so I can actually turn it on full blast and then turn it down to a trickle which helps save water and makes the water last longer. Uh, here is where I hang my towel. I have a really great uh, medicine cabinet in here where I can store all my stuff. So this is the main living area where I spend most of my time when I'm not up in the loft. Um, this is my creative solution to getting a lot of furniture in a small space and it's, it sort of transforms 
Um, these are just three stools from Ikea that I bought, and then I added these little shelves in here so I can put books and CDs and games and things on there. And then when I want to use them as seating, I just pull them apart like this. And this table is also from Ikea. over for dinner because I can see three. And then lastly, if I fold this down, I made a special brace here so it doesn't swing, and I can turn this into a bench. I can put pillows here if I want. And then when I want to watch a movie, I just put this here, and I can sit on my couch. I can watch. But most of the time, it's just a bookcase. And now I'll show you up in the loft. This is a ship ladder. It actually came from a boat that somebody custom built the ladder. Um, and it actually has a hinge so it can close up and fold away. Although the way it's installed, it's just installed to be permanent here. And this is how I get up to my loft. So this is the loft. I have a full-size um, inflatable air mattress up here that has a pad on top and then a cover on top of that. It's actually pretty comfortable. Um, the loft is big enough for a queen-size bed, but I chose a full-size bed because then I have room for some extra storage on the side. This right here is actually was going to be the chimney for a wood stove that would sit right under here. But since I'm in Florida, I don't really need one. It's about three and a half feet from the floor of it up to here, but even with an uh, um, air mattress on top, which adds about this much, um, there's plenty of room for me to sit here. And I can read a book, or I can play my ukulele, which I have stored over here. Um, I have this really great stained glass window that Elaine chose to put in, which I really like. And I have vines growing on the house, so it almost feels like I'm in a little tree house up here. And then, um, because I have the full-size bed instead of a queen-size, I have room for all my extra blankets that I'll need in a few months. Um, I have little baskets with some storage, just water and tissues and stuff like that. And this is the view looking across from the loft. Um, looking down, the kitchen is over there on the left hand side. You can see my tiny pot holders on my microwave. And then on this side is where the air conditioner and my convertible furniture is. And then underneath me to the left is the closet, and underneath to the right is the bathroom. And my favorite part about living here in the RV park is that I have probably the best view ever. There's a lake here. And there's my dog Daisy over here. She loves to dig holes. She's probably just finishing up digging a hole right now. Um, and then I have all this room for gardening and plants and all that. There's my million dollar view.